Good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Laura. I'd love you to hit subscribe and follow along with my journey. It is a weekend in my life vlog. Today is a Friday, so I'm going to vlog Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I have just been out for a walk and I'm going to go pick up my parents and take them to, I'm going to butcher this, it's French, uh, Batar Bakery. It's got a D on the end, but I don't think you pronounce the D, uh, to grab a coffee grab a pastry uh then we're gonna go see if we can get the car fixed i've got a skin appointment just a couple of little bits happening today and then i'm working this afternoon uh so yeah so we just had uh coffee and a little pastry and now we're going to head to Granville Island Markets. Uh, mum and dad haven't seen it before and my mum's parents used to actually travel to Canada a lot on their way to New Zealand uh, so they would spend a few weeks here so there's qu quite a few little spots um, like the hotel where they stayed and I think they spend most of their time in the West End kind of area. So we're going to show mum and dad the seawall and we've actually got some sun today so that is a huge win. Love grows where my rosemary goes and nobody knows. I just got home from coaching and I did a hair mask earlier and I put it in and slicked my hair back in a bun. So I'm really hoping that when I wash it out, it's going to be really nice and soft. Um, I was just deciding whether I should do dinner first, then shower, or if I should shower, put comfies on and then do dinner. But if I cook dinner now and eat dinner, then I can have a bath. And that sounds like a really good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Dinner first bath. We're cooking veggie spag bowl for dinner tonight. I'm going to make heaps so that when Ty gets home from his concert, he can just have some dinner because they think late at night he's so hungry he's just having toast. And it'd be nice to have something hearty, home-cooked meal. We've got some brown rice pasta boiling and some veggie mints with some zucchini, some tomatoes in there. So here's dinner. I've got some spaghetti underneath. I've got some fresh tomato I cut veggie mints with zucchini and then I've got some baby spinach. I'm just going to have some salt and pepper, maybe some chili flakes. This is exactly what I feel like. Good morning from Gibby and I. She's a naughty girl. I'm not sure what's going on. She's only ever done this like twice before and it was for a, like a mattress. Uh, but she peed on my jumper that I left lying out last night, which was just very irritating. On another note, it's a beautiful sunny day in Vancouver, which is awesome because I really want my parents to see the city in the sunshine because it does make such a difference and we were predicted to have rain for two weeks, so that's amazing. Tonight we're going to go see Ty's show, which I'm super excited about, but that's in West Van, so probably going to have dinner out that way tonight. They're going to the markets this morning. I'm going to coach. I'll be done by about 1 p.m. I really need to do groceries and pick up some of the basics. This week, obviously, we've just been eating out and with my birthday and with going to Seattle, it's just been a bit of a mishmash, but we need things like oat milk and coffee. Yes, Gibby. And, you know, all of those basics. So uh, I love that that's what I call basics. I need to top up the fresh produce. I'm out of mangoes, guys. We know that this is a big problem. I need the mangoes. I need the fresh apples. I need the mangoes. Those are my go-to snacks. So... I will probably do some groceries today, and if not, I'll do them tomorrow. But tomorrow's Mother's Day, and I really hope the sun sticks around because we're planning on going to Gibson's for the day. Uh, that's what Gibby's named after. It's one of our favorite places in BC. So her, her full name is Gibson's, uh, but we just call her Gibby. Yeah, so let's hope the sun sticks around. Fingers and toes crossed. Okay, I finished coaching, and I actually had a bit of a rough time because I was just feeling really dizzy and lightheaded so anytime that I would bend down to pick up weights or uh, 
show somebody like demonstrate an exercise and I'd get back up I was getting really bad head rush so I had to keep trying to find a wall on the outside of the room to just stand there for a second and take a beat uh, I'm definitely feeling pretty shattered after that and I suppose like I did work last night and this morning and I don't usually go back to back I was just helping somebody out uh, so yeah I'm feeling I'm feeling that uh, it's about 12 15 now we're gonna grab some lunch and then I think we will go to um, go, I think we will go to I think we'll go back home chill out Ty will head to the theater at about 3 30 about 3 30 and then I'm getting picked up at 5 by my parents and my sister and her boyfriend and we're going to head out to the North Shore to get some dinner before we go and see the show, which I'm so excited about. Gabby, you're very chatty this afternoon. So naturally, of course, she's quiet as soon as I put the camera on her. So I'm just walking to my parents' Airbnb. And it's such a beautiful walk down. All the cherry blossoms are kind of coming to their end and turning over green and there's beautiful flowers and it's just like all the petals falling and there's sunshine and there's just something about being outside, walking, getting fresh air that just really does it for me. And I, I truly think that no matter how much of a bad mood you're in or dark headspace when you just get up off the couch and commit to walking around the block for five minutes obviously if it's not raining it can truly just change your mood and shift your perspective I'm not saying dramatically for me it's dramatic but I'm not saying a walk can fix your problems but it's crazy how that change of scenery and just moving your body and that grounding feeling of being outside in nature and perhaps you're in a more rural area than I am and really are connected to nature and not just in the burbs. But yeah, I truly, I was feeling just a little bit low, but coming outside, I'm just like, wow, that's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. And it just really shifts my perspective. So that's just my little golden nugget for the day. All right, so we've just got some bowls. So he's got one that's got like a satay, tofu vibe. James has got all the veg. Dad's got the cozy bowl. Mum's got the heartful bowl because she's got a big heart. And then I've got all the veg here. I'm really going to have to chew this because otherwise it'll be quite painful coming out of the stoma. So always got to chew, chew, chew. So James has just been taking us on a bit of a tour around North End because this is where he grew up. And then we're also just showing mum and dad some of the things that we came and visited a lot like during the pandemic uh, because obviously there wasn't much to do. So we spent a lot of time out here in the mountains. We're just showing them the dam near Grouse Mountain. I forgot what it is called, but our oh, Cleveland Dam. Uh, and my sister is a tailings dam engineer and uh, James is a mining engineer. So this is kind of like their thing. They find this stuff super interesting. I do too, but you know, they actually know what's happening. It's a, it's a guts of a river. The water rages out of there from just over where our feet are. So, yeah, it goes under the road. And so we just uh, watched Ty's show and he was amazing. He's so good. He was and amazing. He hasn't had dinner, so we are in the A and W drive-through. Can you tell I'm wearing makeup, burger. guys? No. <laughs> I mean, Are you actually wearing makeup? Yeah, yeah I went to good, eh? I went with him to the we pharmacy went, yeah. to buy the foundation. We went there and I was like, Laura, <laughs> I don't want to look like I'm wearing makeup, but fix this. Yeah, you so we just can't even tell. the complexion. You so it's a, it's a powder. You, you guys don't care. Yeah. But anyway, so. he's wearing a little bit of makeup. Awesome. Mine's worn off a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he's tan, still tan from Hawaii. Just got home and I'm in bed and I've made a hot chalky. You haven't seen the hot chockies in the vlog for a while because I was having them all the time and I just kind of got into a different flow. I was more on the peppermint tea vibe in the evening, but that used to be like my thing every night, basically in winter, I would have a hot chockey. Uh, back into the I'm chockies. back into the hot chockies. So we're home. Ty's show was amazing, as I already said, and it was really nice because we probably had about like 15 
like friends of ours that actually came to the show, which was really cool. So Ty had quite the support crew and you could definitely hear that when people were cheering. Um, yeah, so we, um, we're going to have a, I was going to say going to have an early night. We're not having an early night. It's already like 11 o'clock, but we're going to watch some Shits Creek and there's a little bit of a sleep in tomorrow. Ty's doing a matinee tomorrow. It's Mother's Day in Canada tomorrow and uh, so happy that I get to actually spend it with mum. We planned to go to Gibson's and that might still be the plan, but I think we're waiting to see what the weather's doing in the morning because there's no point in us going if it's just pouring with rain because some of the things we wanted to do we're going for walks and, you know, sitting outside. So we, yeah, I, I really think it just depends on what happens with the sun in the morning. Uh, but I'd love to take them there. Otherwise, I think the other plan might be to go to the aquarium. But you can only imagine that on a Sunday, on Mother's Day, the aquarium might be quite busy. But I love those otters. I love them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to finish my hot jockey and watch some TV and go to bed. Good morning and happy Sunday. It's Mother's Day. Ty's just popped around the corner to get some coffees and I'm getting picked up shortly. We are going to go to Gibson's. So I think we're catching like the 11 or something ferry and head over. We'll have some lunch there, browse around. I just hope that the rain holds off so that we can actually walk around. Uh, we want to take them to Hopkins Landing. We want to take them into like the little township. I think they're really going to love it. But uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but my sister is looking to buy out that way. She would like to buy a place in Gibson. So she's been in the market to do that for the last 18 months. And she's put quite a few offers in on houses and they just haven't quite gone through. It's just such a competitive market at the moment. Uh, so I guess she wants mum and dad, um, and so do I, to really see it, fall in love with it and see why we love going there so much. Gibby has got this urge to eat the flowers and I have to watch her and she just acts all innocent. But as soon as I look away, she'll eat them. Okay, this one's dad's. So. Are you sure you've got the decaf one, so? Yes, I think so. so Neck runner bouncing off the walls. I think this one for dad. Oh, the sun's come out. Okay, come have a look at this view. What do you guys think? Pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. We're searching for whales. Ty couldn't come with us, so we're, we're whale watching for him. This is so stunning. That's good. We're just walking down to Hopkins Landing and we stayed here last summer and it was so beautiful. So there's like this little pathway to walk down towards the water and it's just like I would give anything to own one of these houses right on the water. Hello. So the rain is just passing through, so we're sheltering under some kayaks, <laughs> hiding from it. Hopefully it passes through quickly because we want to walk on the beach. We're just about to go for a walk in Smuggler's Cove and there's the sign up that there's the mom and her cubs in the area. So we'll try not to disturb them, but also stay alert. <laughs> I'm actually feeling pretty car sick. I get really bad motion sickness. And so between the ferry and being in the car, I just have a really unsettled tummy. So the fresh air and a walk will really do me good. Okay. So we're just on the waterfront down in Gibson's in the like, uh, township. And we are going to go to Lunita's, which we've been to quite a few times. And it's this awesome Mexican spot. They've got a really nice outdoor patio area. And they have this corn that is just 
so good so hopefully that's seasonal and is on the menu if not they have great burrito bowls and lots of really good veggie options so i think mum and dad will really enjoy it and then we're not really sure what's happening with the ferry situation on the way home I think we're going to try and go for the 7.30, 1.30 to 7.50. Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah, so after this, I think we're just going to get a gelato and then we're probably going to head out that way because it's not looking like there's a lot of room on the ferry. So hopefully we actually make it on. Otherwise, the next one will be like 9.50. So a little bit late for us, I think, especially the parentals. Okay, so I got the char-grilled avocado burrito. You can't really see what's inside it. Mum got some tacos. Jamie got a, got a wet burrito. So we got the char-grilled avocado burger. Dad got some tacos. Yeah. Right, we're just <laughs> docking into Horseshoe Bay. Uh, we didn't get the first ferry that was at 520 we ended up getting the 750 so uh, it looks like it was in high demand to get back to Vancouver tonight uh, but it's about 8 30 now and we'll get home just after nine and I'm absolutely shattered I think that when I get back I'm gonna need to take off my bag and have some bag off time because the skin around my stoma is is burning and the last time I looked at the skin, it was irritated, but it wasn't infected or anything, but it definitely feels like, I'm I, yeah, I'm gonna need to put some kind of like cream or uh, just give it some fresh air, which I always struggle with because I don't like seeing the stoma, like it freaks me out a little bit. So it's that, it's that challenge. And I kind of wish that I could just have a bath and not worry about it, but obviously the stoma could become active. So yeah. I don't know, I'm gonna need to have some bag off time, but it's not my favorite thing. Hi, Gib. Hi. Did you miss us today? Did you miss us? So I'm home now, I had a bath, I did have some bag off time. Uh, for probably like 30 minutes uh, and I've just put a new bag on so I did use some of the stoma care stuff that I was given in the hospital so hopefully that helps with the irritation on the skin uh, but yeah Ty just walked in the door as well he went out for dinner with his cast and he uh, informed me that he's ordered some gelato which is awesome because I mentioned it we were supposed to get gelato while we we're in Gibson's they've got this great place that has awesome vegan gelato but because we were just kind of racing to get to the ferry we decided to delete that because we just had some food uh, so we missed out on getting that gelato so I'm glad that that is en route now uh, and we're just gonna probably watch some Schitt's Creek and uh, it won't be an early night but just have a, a cozy night maybe light some candles. It's still really freezing. I'm still wearing full length pajamas to bed. Wore a jacket today, wore a beanie. A big part of the reason I wore a beanie today was because when I brushed my hair this morning, this massive chunk came out the back. And I know that I'm not losing a lot of hair from the chemo, but I am thinning and it kind of like freaked me out a little bit. So it's just like, I'm just gonna wear the beanie today so I don't think about it or don't touch it or anything like that. I think it's fine, but it is thinning at the back. Anyway. Uh, I am going to wrap up this vlog here because this is just a little weekend in my life vlog. Hopefully I've got enough content and hopefully you enjoyed my weekend. It's a non-chemo week so my next vlog will be a bit more of a busy work week. Uh, and obviously still taking mum and dad here, there and everywhere um, so that we can see all of Vancouver. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Oh, actually, side note. Ty and I are going to do a Q&A. So if you've got any questions for Ty and I, I will do a community post, but you can leave them down below. They can be wedding related. They can be uh, just get to know us kind of questions. Um, if anyone is a support person for someone going through cancer, you might have some questions for Ty. So leave them down below and we will film that in the coming couple of weeks. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video.